Stephanie Raymond's dream of a career in the armed forces shattered when she came forward with an allegation of rape against a superior six years ago. You lose your career, you lose all your friendship. Uh, the chain of command doesn't trust you. Her case, one of several that prompted this in July 2015. Everybody must continue to work together to eliminate this harmful behavior. It must stop now. As Jonathan Vance became Canada's top general, he promised to tackle a culture of sexual misconduct in the military. Operation Honor is now three years old, but Canada's Auditor General says there are still major gaps in how the force handles sexual assault, especially when it comes to victims. Support for those who come forward with allegations is fragmented, training inadequate, some soldiers don't feel safe speaking out, and so complaints flounder and investigations drag on. Uh, what we found was that for the military police investigations, they were taking uh, approximately seven months uh, to be finalized. Seven months for what should have been done in one. The minister responsible says the military is working on the problem, but he says changing an entire culture of behaviour is a complicated process. I wish that we could fix it immediately, um, uh, but unfortunately, uh, in this case, we didn't have all the right answers. This was going to take time for us to get an understanding, even as we try to do the right thing. He points to recent changes, legislation creating a victim's bill of rights in military courts, and there's a new review process that'll take a second look at sexual assault allegations initially deemed unfounded. But Raymond, who's waiting on a new trial date for her alleged attacker, isn't convinced that's enough. They don't want to deal with the crime or with the accuse or a trial. Military for her, changes come too late. To... She hopes it will be soon enough for others. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa. The Auditor General is also taking aim at how the federal government handles your money. If you've ever felt the tax agency didn't treat you fairly, well, you may have been right. The AG found that how the Canada Revenue Agency deals with you and your taxes varies on who you are, where you live, and the agent you're dealing with. For example, taxpayers in one region waited 12 weeks to complete an audit, but 40 weeks in another part of the country. In another case, CRA wanted receipts for expense claims within 90 days, but some taxpayers with offshore accounts were given years to provide the same information. So that inconsistency, the Auditor General says, violates the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. 